Welcome back, thanks for tuning in today. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through two different tools to help you generate some worksheets for your students. One of them uses AI and the other is not technically AI, but it's such a great tool that I'm gonna walk you through some of the different ways that you can utilize it in your teaching. Welcome to AI for Teachers, I'm Jen Twidell. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through the tool Almanac, which uses AI to help you create different worksheets for your students. A real benefit of it is that it can format the worksheets for you so that you can export it out and simply print the document so you're not having to fiddle around with any formatting. The second tool I'm gonna to show you today is Canva. And it's not technically using AI, but it has thousands of editable worksheets that they've just added to their website and it is well worth a look because they have worksheets on any subject you can imagine and you can go in and edit them all and they're really easy to download and print so i think it's definitely worth a look to get started we're going to head over to almanac.ai if you've never used this tool before, it has been purpose-built for teachers and it's made to develop different courses or units of work and kind of combine resources all together with the use of AI. It has already been loaded with several different curriculums and the different learning objectives linked to those curric curriculums. And then you take your course outline and your learning objectives and you can develop different resources linked back to whatever unit you're creating. And it works really well. And there are several different tools that you can use to link back and make resources for each course. So to get started, you simply go to add course and you're gonna select which curriculum you'd like it to be linked to. So you can see that it has the Australian curriculum, and Canadian, United Kingdom, and the United States curriculums. You select which one you'd like your course to be linked to, and it will just pop up like one of these courses here. Today, I'm just going to use an example from English curriculum linked to Australian curriculum guidelines. So once you go in and generate your course, you decide what learning objectives you want to use and AI can generate those learning outcomes for you. It can also help you generate assessments, etc. But today we're simply going to be focusing on worksheets. So once you have the course already loaded, you've linked it to the curriculum, AI will populate different lesson plan ideas for you and you can start to make resources linked to each one of those lessons. So that's the course being done. To start making those worksheets, you head down to Tools. Once in Tools, you can see that there are several different options for you to create different resources. You can see one there to create comprehension from YouTube. I have another video on that if you want to check it out on my channel. So there are several options to choose from, but today we're just going to be using the K-2 worksheets. So you click on that one. You enter the course which it's going to be linked to, so I'm going to use that English um, Year 1 course. Lesson title, so that was the identifying rhyme. And then what do you want the actual worksheet to be based on? So there are several options here. You can use a URL from a website. You can just copy and paste some text in. You can use a resource that you've already made that's linked to that course. You can even upload different files, etc. And today we're going to be using a link from a YouTube video. So I'll select that one. And to put that in, you simply go over to YouTube and we all have our favorite videos that we've used in the past that our students engage well with. And this video here is one that my students have enjoyed in the past. So you simply click on the video that you're wanting to use. Go up to the top and copy this URL, just like you would copy paste um, from a text. So copy that, head back over into Almanac, post it in the video link section. And then there are several options of what kind of worksheet you'd like to create. 
So the picture and word matching activity, I thought maybe it would do um, two different rhyming words, but I did found it would write a word and then it was expecting me to find the photo. So I wasn't finding that a super useful option at the moment. Um, but there are some fill in the blanks, sort into category, writing practice, and some comprehension. So let's just try some fill in the blanks and see what it comes up with there. Hit create. And then AI is going to use that information from your YouTube. It understands that you're wanting to link it to rhyming and poetry. And it's going to generate a worksheet for us that you can see looks nice. Um, it's all ready to copy and paste out of here and just be printed out. So it's given me the words up the top and then it's kind of made comprehension questions for the rhyming activity to check their understanding. The great thing about this almanac is you just simply hit export. You can export it out to a PDF or into Google Docs. I think you can see that there is several different ways that you could end up using this tool and it all links back to those curriculum guidelines, which makes our lives much, much easier. The second site I wanted to show you today is Canva. Now Canva is a fantastic website. The worksheet portion I'm showing you today isn't actually AI, but it's such a wonderful tool and you can edit the worksheet so easily that I felt that I really needed to share it with you on this episode. So you simply go into Canva, which is a free site. You can even get an educator's upgrade and get a wealth of other options within your Canva account if you prove that you're a teacher. Good for newsletters, documents, even creating videos like this one. So you simply go up the top and type in worksheets and you're going to get thousands of them. Really professional looking, really kid friendly. You can have a scroll through and have a look. You might want to type in different subjects that you'll you are interested in so we'll go with rhyme to link to our other activity we were doing and you can see there's all different options and there's dozens of them one feature that i really like about these is once you go in and click on the sheet that you want i was using this one last week you can go in and edit any part of the template that you're wanting to. So we were doing data collection in prep, but we only wanted two options of collecting data. And I simply went in, I deleted some of the rows that I didn't want. And I was able just to update this really quick and easy. You can see you could add images, change the formatting. You can even go over to this section elements and there are several different images and things that you could change or substitute. So this particular worksheet actually has three different variables on a similar concept. So I changed the bottom two to use in class, sort of like an I do, we do, and then the final assessment one will be the you do. And I just find that this is a really easy way to create worksheets, so not technically AI, but certainly well worth your time to go and have a look. You can even find topics such as science, lots on multiplication and different math concepts. So well worth heading over and having a look. And everything on Canva is very easy to export and then you can just either print in color or black and white and your worksheets are ready to go and everything saves for you on your Canva website so you can retrieve it in the future. Thank you for joining us. If you have found this video useful, please hit the subscribe button and you'll be updated anytime I upload some new content to help save you time. I'm sure you will agree that these generating tools will help you in your day-to-day -day practices, saving you time making those worksheets. Also check out our website, www.ai4teachers.au. We have lots of professional development opportunities on there for you. Or if you'd like to contact me with any questions, please feel free. This has been AI for Teachers and I'm Jen Tuado. Remember to balance your work and well-being.